when considering the idea of California's fraudulent position by the misuse of Nazi powers, which compelled them to engage in writing JSAC Lowe's policy, along with many others, such as their alliance with the schools, being able to limit competition with other schools, such as trade schools, and other exceptions, which overlaps into Don Senior's boarding school, are specific policies to defeat specific people and organizations, which is not lawful or American. Now, these terrorist attacks specifically tell you exactly what it is they're after, which is not their direct policy, which they present, but the underlining secret agenda in the coup against the United States. If the point was the engagement of California overthrowing the other states, for example, in J. Sekulow's coercion of the other states into conformity, they would not require people like the character for David or his family to agree with them or lie for them or show for them or anything of any real substance beyond not opposing them with any direct action of violence. Now, the engagement of contracting to not fight them is all they really need, and necessary force to win requires them to make these subcontracts to acknowledge the status and trade on parallel with the legitimacy of those statuses, which include the projected contracts which it would have sent from an early age with or without the engagement of the felonies. The felonies in question by the white nationalists and others are a liability to the interest. Now, their policy is created as a reaction to the white nationalist interest to engage in their terrorism and hate crimes in general because they just have an agenda to destroy the general public which allows them to overthrow the government. Now, their active threats against the public, their war crimes against the general public, is the issue at hand, not their desire to acquire a particular policy. Now, the engagement of the particular policy just requires the contracts, not the terrorist violence, but because the white nationalists are undisciplined fuck nuggets, there was no legitimate option to do necessary force to win and have them be attached to it. There is a fundamental contradiction in the capacities based upon what they would have to do in order to win versus dealing with them in their natural state, knowing that they're undisciplined and therefore incompetent to acquire the agenda, disproving the legitimacy of anything they would attempt to enforce on that understanding that they are not having the discipline in order to accomplish this thing or too irresponsible in order to make the attempt. Any function which subverts the spirit of the law is not a law, it is usurpation, it is fraud, it is disqualified, it is a nullity. Now the engagement of proving that expresses the position that all they have to do is uncensor and publish from their own platforms, their agents and the actions of their agents in these hate crimes. Now the acknowledgement and publishing of those expressed positions would demonstrate the legitimacy of any of their claims concerning their legitimacy, which requires their upfrontness about the position or they are engaged in the admission to its unlawful nature by virtue of having to hide it. In law enforcement, whenever you have someone claiming the fifth, they will sometimes offer the ability to not be punished on any of the testimonies provided, nullifying the rights of non-self-incrimination, because if there isn't a crime, you can't self-incriminate. Now, the engagement of not being able to self-incriminate is the subject at hand concerning their terrorist actions from their espionage engagements. If they are in fact truly not guilty of anything, then they can admit to everything and it wouldn't matter. 
But that's the problem, because they don't have a lawful right to it, and they know they never had a right lawful right to it, and they can't make themselves have a lawful right to it, and no one has authority to give them the right to it, which is their position, which is why they won't admit to it, which is why they're not publishing their crimes against humanity. Now, the engagement of this undisciplined group of terrorists has to define all of their actions and all of their motives in the engagement of the destruction of the public as well as the full description of how they thought their enemies would have beaten them. Now, the United States would have beaten them is their claim, and thus necessary force to overcome the United States is their formal position. So they have to define why, how they thought they lost. They have to publish the full descript story on how the Americans would have beaten them. And once they've established how the Americans would have beaten them, they are limited to their claim on how they lost concerning the qualifier of what is necessary force in order to beat the Americans. The necessary force changes exponentially if you don't have a solid story. So their inability to have to make an argument concerning the subject makes it fully arbitrary to all of their positions, including the engagement of unlimited arbitrary violence in their terrorist attacks, such as the subcontracting of their black markets for narcotics and other illegal substances, such as the selling of the abuse, the selling of the espionage, the compromising of targets of people of interest on the basis of socially acceptable things, such as being attractive. Now, the use of government equipment for the espionage to the attractive people might lead them to go into someone's bedroom, such as an attractive woman who they would begin to tamper with through the function of the surveillance, which is one of the primary complaints in substantive due process case when they were arguing for the legitimacy of the gays to be able to exist, to be safe, to be left alone in their own bedroom. The government doesn't have a right to engage in the functions of invading in the bedroom, which is their actual admission to what it is they would have been experiencing through those seeking to manipulate their sexual orientation for their nefarious agendas. Now, these acts of experiments in order to change the orientation was the original complaint in that case, which was one on the basis of their right to privacy. Now, if you remove their right to privacy, you no longer have their right to the function. It's similar to the idea that you don't have rights if you don't have property rights. If you don't have property rights, if you don't own the things that you own, then all of your other rights are irrelevant because there is no property by which to attach to it. It's a similar thing where the bone requires the muscle, requires the skin. You can't take one away without injuring the other. The ligaments, the bones, the muscles, all of them need everything. The mouse trap needs the entirety of the mouse trap, or it cannot, by definition, exist to any reasonable extent. It will collapse on itself, which is ultimately the agenda, which is to collapse the Americans abroad. 